This is a tree, part of a tree that fell down that was rotten. Whoops. And I just stacked it in here to rot down and decompose for the wood. And dogs and children love to climb up and over it. It also makes a lovely sheltered place when um, the sheep are in here. Sometimes they lie in there. Uh, and you can see mushrooms or the fungi are having a field day with it in there. And there's some more. And some people just love chewing sticks. Isn't that right? You clever girl. You clever girl. Come on, girls! Trying to call them down here. There's ivy they'll be eating. All kinds of things. This is a lovely area, the woods. With some big beech trees. And ash trees. And holly trees. Come on, girls! And ivy trees. No, they'll be ivy. They'll be eating ivy. But you can see. There's some holly. Now they're coming down through here. And you can see the canopy above. Is beautiful beech trees. This is the beech beech wood area. There's ash trees out in the field over there. But they come this way to get to my seed bank, which is a diversity of uh, plants. They're pausing here to browse some cow parsley. You can see they're browsing cow parsley right there under these low beech trees, branches. I'm gonna go this way, they're going that way. I'll go through these nettles. You can see there's a stand of nettles and brambles here. This is a pear tree that I planted this year and it's protected with this fence. So here they are. They think they're going out into the field now, but they're getting to graze this uh, biodiverse sward of all kinds of things. There's, yeah, there's strong grasses like these, but there's herbs and uh, more herbs. And let's see, vetches and different grasses here you can see. So they get a huge diversity. Um, so they're grazing the woodlands and my biodiverse seed bank, which happens every year. This is an annual occurrence. Otherwise, I save these seed heads to spread. So you've got knapweed here. Um, oh, God, I ran a blank what that one is. This is coxfoot here. So there's, here's salad burnet here. This is salad burnet. So they've got a huge diversity. This is St. John's wort, which they don't eat, which is good. They sometimes do medicinally, but um, mostly they avoid eating that. And you've kept up as well, haven't you? Yeah. Mm, kitty, you're very interested, aren't you? You wanna learn all about farming with nature. Clever kitty. Yeah. So that's where the yews are going to be grazing now for the next couple of weeks is in the woods and this diverse sward of different plants and legumes and flowers and herbs and grasses. <laughs>